The Department of Trade, Commerce and Industry has drafted policies to regulate the fishing industry in the country. Minister Richard Morrow will present submissions to Cabinet on the two important areas of fishing, which are licenses and export tax. Jacqueline Yala reports. The fishing industry has the potential for greater economic benefits for the country. But this opportunity has been taken away by foreign-owned fishing companies for many years. Now the government, through the Trade, Commerce and Industry Minister, is embarking on addressing this issue. Minister Richard Maru announced last week that he will present the submissions to the cabinet to address fishing policies. He said one of the submissions is to ban fishing license to foreign fishing companies that does not have onshore processing facility. No more fishing licenses should be given to any foreign company that does not have onshore processing facilities in Papua New Guinea. At the moment, 60% of all our fish is sent overseas to be processed. The objective behind the PMIZ is that we will allocate land and provide facilities for all current fishing companies and new ones to build processing facilities onshore so that all our fish is processed in Papua New Guinea. The other submission is to impose export tax on all unprocessed fish leaving PNG shores. Introduce an export tax from next year. So any fishing company that does not process fish in Papua New Guinea must be hit with a tax. In other words, we generate money for this economy. He said at the moment, 60% of our fish is sent overseas to be processed. Maru said PNG lose billions of kina by not processing its own fish. He, however, said the Pacific Marine Industrial Zone project in Medang has the greater potential to process and export PNG fish. Maru said they will closely monitor illegal fishing in PNG waters as well. Jacqueline Yala, NBC National News, Port Moresby.